And we're here, TGIF. Thank you, my AKA Patters. Welcome to the AKA Pad Army. I am your host, your video presenter, your opinion maker, Peter A. DeLuca, coming to you from Philadelphia, PA. Right now, it's such a frustrating morning for me. I'm literally rendering a 20 minute long Wildstorm Wednesday video that's taking three hours and it's clogging my entire pipeline. That's what she said. So annoying. So what I'm doing is I'm running into the office to do some quick work, rushing back here, publishing that video and publishing this coming to you. TGIF though people, come on, how do you not get excited? I've been trying, look, real quick. I've been trying to read and do a video on the new Wildcats uh, without luck. Uh, every uh, everything I do I think is too negative and uh, I keep reshooting that so maybe that's coming soon So we're here talking about the new Shazam Fury of the Gods trailer it dropped yesterday James Gunn right everything's about DC and James Gunn the, the two now are linked and they will never be separated so the first Shazam movie, which takes, and this is why this is important. It takes place over there. It takes place in Philly. Great movie. Incredible. They got all the giant abstract comic booky ideas. They got that family, the family feeling. Uh, great, great villain. Great, uh, just, oh, the, the deep cut with that end credit sequence. We had Superman make his appearance at the end of that. And it just the the idea of lost innocence and, you know, like the coming adulthood. That's everything. And, you know, all the magic stuff. But that's, that's what Shazam is. And that's why Shazam is important. That movie nailing as much as those beats as it did, it's an impossible feat. Uh, anyone that's watched the original 70s kids TV show, you guys know what I'm talking about. You, it's tough. It's a very tough idea to convey. But hey, boom! It's a hit. Boom! We get a sequel. Here's the sequel. It's mostly Shazam fighting a giant dragon. That's what we see. With uh, a couple actresses that are too old. They're too old. You got to get some of the... You got to get those actresses out of that movie. That's my one major. And then along the way... You're watching the trailer and whoof, all the wind leaves your sails. You are left alone. You're left hopeless. You're left with zero hype and zero anticipation because, and here it comes. This is my long argument. There's no core. There's no time investment. There's no base. And those are not platitudes because we talk about those three things a lot on this channel when it comes to even the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So let me get into it. We had Man of Steel. We had Batman vs. Superman. We had a completely failed Justice League movie, but it came back with the Zack Snyder's Justice League cut dropped on HBO Max. That's incredible. Check that out. And we're back. We're putting our time into all of this. We're looking forward towards the Flash, but not really anymore. We got Aquaman, we have Wonder Woman, and we're marching, and we're building, and we have this, this ominous threat coming from Apocalypse. His name is Darkseid. And then boom, you throw in Black Adam. Black Adam's just going to start linking all of it together again. And it's exciting. See, Black Adam, as much as people want to knock that movie, I loved it. I thought it was ballsy. I loved how brutal he was. I don't know. There was a lot about that movie. Thought it had universe or world building. I hate that term. But now, with these changes James Gunn is making, where's the time investment? Where's the hype? Where's the fun? Why am I even going to watch this movie? Why do I even care what happens in this movie? There is no feeling in me of what is coming next in Shazam and the DC Extended Universe, DCEU, it's all gone. The excitement is gone. The hype is gone. What should be a movie that myself would deeply look forward to 
because of just 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 like honestly god just based on how heavy how heavy and accurate and and tricky nailing that first movie was i should be excited i should be wanting to honor that sequel with a ticket sale i should want to honor that sequel with my time knowing it's going to pay off into another movie another two movies another three movies but james gunn with these changes and everything that's leaking out about the direction of the current DC Cinematic Universe takes away any excitement for Shazam! Fury of the Gods and that sucks. It's disappointing and I kind of, I sat on this too. I sat on this last night, sat on this a little bit this morning and I kept thinking to myself, why am I not pumped for that trailer why am i not excited why am i not looking for story threads and and try and spot things that are happening within the characters in the uh, shazam family it's just not there they they killed it they're they're also i mean aquaman i love aqua i really do i love that aquaman movie the the lost kingdom of Atlantis, whatever, whatever the heck it's called the next aquaman zero hype it's tough, people. Anyway, cheers. Happy Friday.